So, uh, track B started with uh, uh, session B1 that was devoted to multimedia application and services. Uh, it was chaired by Professor Antonio Iera from uh, Mediterranean University in Calabria that uh, was, uh, uh, gave us also a keynote speech. Uh, he, during uh, his uh, keynote speech, uh, he has introduced a, a very interesting concept. Uh, the, the fact that um, we are talking a lot about uh, Internet of Things. He introduced the concept uh, that uh, uh, we could make a step forward in that direction, passing through objects that simply communicate among them to objects that socialize in the network, like we do as human beings. Um, so, Le just to fix a, a, a new paradigm uh, that, uh, and then he has uh, presented the, the uh, new, um, the different point of view that can be found in the literature regarding this point. Then uh, we have uh, an interesting uh, uh, presentation that uh, was centered on backhauling and access means through a 60 gigahertz developed prototype. That was uh, uh, presented by George, and uh, uh, together, and, um, resuming a work that was uh, 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 undersigned by a number of his colleagues. Another interesting uh, presentation was uh, regarding a semantic-driven integer programming approach for quality of service aware dynamic service composition. That uh, was uh, presented by Mr. Terence Ambra from the, the uh, University of Florence in, uh, in Italy. Uh, the, la the last uh, presentation in the session regards an, an MHP-based solution for assistive home automation. This is another subject that was introduced in these uh, kind of sessions. And uh, uh, it was presented by Dr. Susanna Spinsante from University of uh, Marche in, in Italy. So which were the conclusion about uh, after all these presentations? Uh, first of all, uh, it was clear that the social applications of Internet uh, are quickly growing up. Uh, so that a new paradigm of Internet uh, may derive from that uh, situation. And this is the concept I have uh, quoted before regarding the social Internet of Things. Uh, new approaches, new concepts, so new needs uh, of also a new, uh, the need of new technologies. Uh, so uh, it was uh, um, debated the fact that uh, we, uh, the, the need of new web semantic technologies and application uh, for the in implementing of these uh, new uh, services and so it was interesting that in one of these presentations uh, was presented a new programming approach uh, in order to guarantee a, a, to have a robust software uh, that uh, may uh, confront with the, uh, the quality of service that is needed uh, to uh, erogate this kind of services. Uh, Jumping to the other side of the network, we have seen that in the, la in the last years uh, a, 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 a the growing of a lot of customer premises equipment uh, that are very complex so that they can implement locally a number of the services we needed. Uh, so uh, in, in the special thing, 
in, in, uh, with special focus, we have talked about uh, the um, home automation from the assistential point of view. So it was a, a very uh, uh, interesting session and uh, that uh, it was natural that uh, starting from his team, so the application and services, multimedia application and services, has to span on different uh, uh, applications. So, any comment on these? Any uh, observation you would add to this uh, resume? Okay, so we can uh, pass to the following session. Session B2, Internet and Next Generation Networks. Uh, it was shared by Professor Marco Vari from uh, uh, University of Tor Vergata in Rome. Uh, in, this, uh, uh, in this session, we have an interesting uh, keynote speech that was held by Mr. Umberto Di Giulio, that is the president of Italtel, one of uh, an important mani uh, uh, telco manufacturer in Italy. And uh, he addressed the concept to how to we can shape new models in order to uh, define the relationship between internet and next generation networks. Uh, So, after this uh, keynote speech, uh, we have a number of uh, interesting uh, memories in which we have discussed uh, uh, which has to be the algorithms uh, that should be adopted in order to improve the performance of UMTS networks, especially aiming in mind the need of having uh, video streaming. Uh, this was uh, Sandro, it was introduced by a speech from uh, Professor Di Caro from Switzerland uh, that uh, addressed the, the subject of optimal relay node placement for throughput enhancement in wireless sensor networks. So we introduced in this way the wireless sensor networks. Uh, it was very interesting because uh, he anticipated that uh, he is not a telecommunication engineer, he is a research a researcher in the field of artificial intelligence, and uh, uh, introduced the, 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 the problem of a, a kind of topological optimization of the node placement in a, in a wireless sensor network. Uh, from both from a static and also a dynamic point of view. Uh, uh, the need for this difference is that uh, you can uh, uh, look to uh, sensor networks also as little robots. And uh, if uh, you have uh, a, a sensor that can move, you can have uh, little robots that can move in 2D or even 3D space. So the, op the need to optimize the communication among little robots that can move in the 3D space is a very complicated topological problem that can be addressed only with uh, artificial intelligence techniques. Very interesting. <coughs> Then we have uh, see, I had a number of uh, presentations regarding uh, the applications of that. For example, it from uh, University of Ghent, Belgium, was presented a memory regarding uh, 
how to develop a business case for wireless sensor in a specific uh, environment, a factory setting in which little robots can grow. Um, but we have also gave a glance to the new, new uh, protocols that have been, uh, that are under um, finalization, like the 802.11p that has been studied and analyzed with uh, um, library uh, measurement and, um, first of all, simulations, okay? That was presented by Intex, that is uh, a, a, a firm active in this field in Italy. Uh, then we have uh, an another um, memory that was uh, prepared by uh, a common uh, research by the Technology University in Iran and uh, the University of Limoges in France regarding an efficient multiple relay selection scheme for wireless sensor networks under global power constraint. Last but not least, a work that was presented by Mr. Dimitrios Xenikos from OTA in Greece that analyzed the, the diffusion of mobile telecommunication services both in Europe and in Japan. Which were the conclusion of this uh, crowded and interesting uh, uh, session. That these technologies are ready for several applications. E health, geographical, etc. That has been analyzed that the uh, application for the vehicular applications of these techniques and also the constraints we have from the point of view of the power supply. Again, discussion items, first ballot, profitable business, again and again. But, and we are now back to the theme of this Congress, we see that these uh, wireless sensor networks are a very important instrument to fight digital divide. The ever shifting digital divide, as we have entitled our Congress, especially to provide links in those areas without network connect, traditional network connectivity. Uh, a general conclusion is that different people have the same attitudes to pay for mobile services, but a large diffusion of them depends on several factors, economic, social, cultural, just to remember that digital divide is not just only a technological issue, it's also a cultural one. So, this was the la last session of the track B.